Hey everyone, my name is Kyle. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another World of Warcraft video, and I'm gonna react to the most recent video called Shadowlands Afterlife's Bastion, and I'm so excited. I really loved the Shadowlands cinematic trailer. It was so exciting, so thrilling. I'm so very pissed off at Sylvanas and what she's done. Like, she just opened up this world called Shadowlands, and it's like, what the hell? What did, why did you do that, Sylvanas? You just ruined everything. And, but some hints on the title of this video, Afterlife Bastion, I'm gonna think it's obviously in the Shadowlands, maybe some new characters, and they're called Bastion. I'm so excited, I wanna find out more about what, what they do and how are they contributing into the World of Warcraft universe. And yeah, let's get into the video. Arthas? Arthas, what are you doing here? <laughs> so this is way I before Lich King. Save my soul. I think. to ferry the souls of the dead unto the Shadowlands. I serve the light, and my work is not done. There is an evil that must be... There is no evil here. The darkness was sealed within the Maw long ago. You're wrong. He destroyed my home, murdered my people and my king. He must be punished. You are an aspirant now. You must accept your new purpose Aspirant. and purge yourself of this desire for vengeance. What I desire is justice. Devos, why are you training this soul? It is beneath your station as a paragon. He cannot let go. He continues to demand retribution for his death. And this concerns you? Many souls take eons to ascend. Yes, but this one seems broken, Thenios. Yeah. Unlike any soul I have seen, I have begun to wonder whether he was deemed worthy of Bastion. By mistake. Be careful, Devos. I would not let the Archon hear yes. such a <laughs> thought. In time, he will forget. Trust our ways. Trust the path. Devos, how long must we train? Until you are ready to ascend. And what is keeping me from ascension? Nothing but the memory of your mortal life. How can I forget? When I can still feel his blade. Your soul is wounded? Who did this to you? He was my student. He betrayed us all. Show me. Impossible. 
The Maw is inescapable. You must return to the path. If he had purged his life, we never would have known of this calamity. The path is flawed. Enough! The order of the Shadowlands depends on the execution of our eternal charge. You will abandon this course. She's just trying to do the right thing. As you command, my Archon. Y'all don't understand. Uther! The time of your ascension has come. I thought I was not ready. Do you wish to see him punished? I do. Then prepare yourself. The moment he falls, Ooh. we will claim him. God, so that was Shadowlands Afterlife bashing, and that was so freaking cool. I loved how we got to see Arthas again, but it seems like it was maybe before or just because or just when he was starting to become Lich King because now he's wielding Frostmourne, and Frostmourne is like a apparently like a uh, really powerful weapon. And we find out in this video that it has powers of the Maw which is somewhere in the Shadowlands where a lot of evil stuff, I think, I'm assuming, happen and all the really bad evil characters when they die in World of Warcraft, they may be going to the Maw. And the fact that um, when he punctured that guy, I want to know, I want to figure out his name. I don't know his name. And uh, when, he, when he passed and he got carried by those Paragons or the Bastion, the one lady was like, um, saw that his soul was punctured and she was like freaking out a little bit, like never, it's never really happened before and like who did this to you? And that was so crazy. And Bastion is such a beautiful place. Um, I like all the little paragons and their wings are just so magnificent and beautiful. I'm going to be so interested to find out more about Bastion, but when I think about when he got, when Arthas punctured that guy near the heart and died, it made me kind of think of when he did the same thing to Sylvanas before she turned really evil, because there was in Warbringers Sylvanas and she, her army, the Forsaken, was kind of battling uh, Arthas and his, uh, like, the undead army and he punctured her, does that mean that her soul is um, wounded too? And so when she goes to the afterlife, it's like, there's, in the Shadowlands, is there something different about her as well too? Because she was also punctured by the, the Frostmourne. So when I saw that, I was like, hmm, 
I'm wondering if there's some sort of parallel between this guy and Sylvanas and how um, they were both stabbed by this powerful sword called Frostborn. And I'm so interested to find out more. And yeah, that kind of just wraps up this video. I really hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. Comment down below if you have any cool video suggestions that you'd like me to do. And yeah, I will see you soon. Peace out.